Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super, super excited about this die set. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely stunning what you can create with this die set. This is brand new from Tonic Studios today. It's a part of the Black Friday launches and this one is called Blooming Bouquet. So you can create amazing bouquet using all these dies. These are the... um the sides and the base or the structure of the actual bouquet and it actually do, does create a nice substantial bouquet size like a really nice handy size and then you've got all these dies to create your flowers your bows it's going to be amazing so i'm going to stop yapping and then i'm going to cut some bits and pieces and go through um how to create a bouquet you do get your instructions along with your die set which i've got here and tonic instructions are so so easy to follow so you've got your instructions you've got video tutorials from the design team including myself i'll always put the link below to tonic studios in the in the description because there's always so much inspiration coming from there as well from the lovely ladies over at the tonic studios offices so let's get started and make a beautiful bouquet so to create your bouquet you're going to need to cut out six of these panels and i've already gone ahead and put my decorative pieces on top you can obviously go in color them in you can use um just the main panel with decorative paper but i wanted to use the die and create these panels and i've actually already scored and put my red liner tape on so you're going to need six of these so i've got six of those ready you're also going to need six of these sections here. This is going to create your dome at the top of your bouquet where you're going to stick all your flowers on. And the instructions are really, really easy to follow. But this is a very um, easy process to put together. Uh, but you just need to curve these to create your little dome on the top. Um, to create the little flap on the top of the dome because don't forget this is actually going to be a box so it's a usable container for sweets or whatever you're going to need an opening so with this large die you're going to cut this out twice this large one here and this has like this tab design then what you're going to do when you cut it out twice on one of them you're going to go ahead and you're going to put this die in and that's going to create this shape here and on the next one you're going to put both of these on like so and you're going to remove this one so it gives you a central point for the smaller die and you're going to pass that through your die cutting machine and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut these little tabs off so you see these little tabs that is created i don't need these on um this particular one and on this one I've kept them on and I've added my tape and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to keep the center of this and you're going to keep the center of this and cut them out again so you end up with two of these larger hexagons and two of these slightly smaller hexagons if you don't keep the center of them that's fine you just go ahead and cut yourself two of these and then two of this one to create four pieces like this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut these tabs off and i'm going to first of all i'm actually going to put the bouquet together and for those i'm going to need this these smaller hexagons to create the base of the bouquet and then we'll go from there
so once you're done gluing all the edges you're going to end up with something like this so i would go in and just reinforce the tabs with your fingers where the red liner tape's gone um, and this is how it looks so, so you could use it like just like a vase and add some flowers and pretty things to it um, and if you're a bit worried about these little gaps here you could add your own ribbon or there is a die in the collection that creates these little um, sections here and you're going to need to cut three of these and stick them together and then they go around perfectly to create that finishing um, edge so really really nicely thought out um, so what I'm going to do now, now that the base of the bouquet is done, I'm going to put that to a side and I'm going to work on these bits here and create the dome. So for the dome, like I said, you're just going to need to curve these sections here. I've added tape this side and this side because they're going to go on the top uh, like this and like this. So you're going to have like a secure, um, like a secure top. And then on one of the edges, before you put all this together, you're going to need to add a tiny little tab. And that's going to create a hinge for when you stick it to the top of the bouquet, which I'm going to show you later on. But don't forget to add your tab to this section while you're sticking. So you're going to see me do this now and I'm going to put this um, together. So now you're going to bring in these sections and like I said I'm going to cut the tabs off here but what's going to happen is this little tab that we've left on here the hinge is going to get stuck onto one of the sides here which is going to create an opening and because we don't want this flipping all the way down we're going to stick this to that bit there without the tabs of course so that your hexagon dome doesn't accidentally fall through if that makes sense it's very clever and really easy to put together so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut these sides off and put all this together The next step is to put this section on top of your bouquet. So these tabs here, I've already got red liner tape on. I am going to add a bit of wet glue just in case I want some wiggle room. Um, so you're going to go ahead and kind of get an idea of how far down you want it. Um, it'll only go down so far anyway because it is a hexagon shape going into a hex like a hexagon. So there's only so much you can go down. But just get an idea for it and then 
go ahead and stick these tabs on the edge here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So now that you're at this stage, you might want to add a magnet here. Um, you can see how the box is really nice and spacious. You can have some tissue paper and add your goodies. Um, but what I'm going to do is add one of these Tonic Studios magnets. So this is um, the... I'm just going to get the pack. Oops, sorry. I'm just going to get you the pack to show you what they look like. So these are the 20 pieces in a pack and they are 10 millimeter ones. They come like this. Um, so I'm going to be using one just to help it close down a bit more. And it's just going to make it look a bit more finished. And then you can decorate. So let me add the magnet and then I'll show you how to create some flowers. So now on to the decorating and the embellishing. So you get loads of flower dyes, you get some leaves, some really pretty foliage pieces. I'm going to create one flower with you and I'll show, um, show you a few that I've done. So you're going to need some layers. So I've cut out here a couple of large ones, a medium one, some smaller ones, some stamen center. And then I've used a Sprite Yellow for the stamen. And then you're going to need a quilling tool to roll this up so really easy to put together and i'm going to show you how to put one of these flowers together So now that all the flowers are stuck on, I have used hot glue because it's just a quicker way of things sticking together. Um, and then these little bits are actually the centres of these leaves, which looks like a nice filler. So what I'm going to do here is add this bow. This die is in the kit. And then I've also got a couple of these that I've cut out. One says keep blooming and one says hello beautiful. I was thinking of putting one on, but I think I might put both on just behind the bow here. And I've also 
cut out a little rose and I've rolled it using that quilling tool so I'm going to just finish it off by putting these on now. So there we have it my finished bouquet I actually did take them off the top and put it towards the bottom but then I tore a bit here so I had to add these little foliage pieces behind the bowl but it looks fine and then these can just be slightly curled back like that so really really adorable really cute and you saw me put the magnet towards the front and then open it there's still loads of space for gifts and sweets and whatever you like so really really cute project and i think the best thing about this is you can if you've got a color theme for something you can totally color coordinate your flowers to your theme whether it's for um a wedding baby showers whatever you like so you can have a gift for each person just sitting there with their name on where the bow is really really cute idea you can do so much so this is my um i want to say it's not even shabby. I think I wanted to go for like a Chanel look with the pink and black and then the beautiful flowers on top. And then I've done a different one here, which is a bit more, um, I want to say a bit more elegant because it's more tonal like this. So I'm going to show you this. I've used my um, beautiful rose gold mirror card with cream at the bottom here. I've layered some more sections up here. So it looks very 3D, even though it is. Navy blue in the backdrop. And then loads of cream, coloured flowers and leaves on the top. And I've added some rolled roses here. These are also in the die set. And then for some of them, um, I've added some pearl drops in the centre of the flowers. And this one, like that. Again, I've added a magnet on this one at the top. I think it's just a nice way it just clicks into place so those are my beautiful bouquets i hope i've inspired you to create one of these these die sets are only available from tonic studios today i'll put the link in the description box where you can find them and that is it from me for today so thank you for watching i know it's been a bit of a long video but thank you so much for watching and i will see you all very soon take care bye